I finally did it. After many years of collecting, I got my hands on my Holy Grail meteorite sample. It's a tiny fragment of the Murray meteorite. I want to talk about why it's so meaningful to the scientific community and to me personally. The Murray meteorite fell in Murray, Kentucky around 1950. It was an observed fall and it left about 13 kilograms of stone. And the particularly interesting thing about this is it is a rare carbonaceous chondrite of the CM2 variety. Now, carbonaceous chondrites are old, like really, really old. They contain what we call pre-solar matter. And we don't know the full story, but it's believed that these meteorites may have formed in interstellar nebulas before the solar system or all the planets even existed. So before the Earth, before Venus, before Mercury, before our solar system as we know it, these meteorites were formed out of that interstellar uh, nebula material. So that can tell us a lot about how the universe formed in various states and even about our own planet. Not only that, these meteorites are known to contain amino acids. And if you know a little bit about biology, you know that amino acids are an essential ingredient for life. There is some belief that maybe life started when a meteorite hit Earth containing some of these amino acids, combined with a few other things, landed in the right warm pool of water, and life sprung forth. So it's entirely possible that we as humans spawn from a meteorite just like the one from Murray. Now, in this case, we know that the Murray meteorite had about 17 different amino acids in it, and of those, only six of those were actually known to have been on Earth before. So 11 of them were completely extraterrestrial. Um, these are not living entities, but they are components of what could have been or will be a living entity at some point. I think that's so fascinating. Beyond the scientific interest, with Murray being one of the most scientifically fascinating meteorites we've ever discovered, it also has a personal connection to me because I'm from Kentucky. And particularly, I went to college in Murray, Kentucky at Murray State University. So this is a meteorite that fell just a few miles from where I spent a very formative portion of my life. So when I discovered that there was a meteorite that fell in West Kentucky, I knew I wanted to have some of it. It just so happened that it's one of the most rare and valued meteorites in existence. So it took me a long time. Uh, my little sample you see here is less than a tenth of a gram. That's all I could really manage to get. There's just not a lot of it available. And what is available is really, really expensive. Nonetheless, I'm super excited to have in my collection, finally, a piece of this meteorite, my holy grail of meteorite collecting.